So what's happening in San Francisco's housing market is that we have a very limited supply for a growing demand of population of residents who want to live in this beautiful city. And because of that imbalance, people who have more money to pay for housing usually win. Investors are buying apartment buildings that people have lived in for years and years that were rent controlled, but that doesn't mean they're protected from the private market. So even though you live in your apartment with your family for say 20 or 30 years, an investor can come in and buy the building and evict you just for the reason of turning the building around and selling it for a higher amount. We were in a situation where the threat of eviction was in conjunction with someone's death. That is already enough, and then you have, oh, and by the way, get out of your home. So the San Francisco Community Land Trust is a member-based nonprofit organization. We were not created by the city of San Francisco. We were created from the community. So we really had to build the organization from the ground up, and it really depends on individual support, including volunteerism on our board of directors and also donations. What they offered was this, this container of technical support um, and education you know, helping us to balance our own budgets and figure out what those budget lines need to be. It's not just about affordable housing and the buildings of the units, it's really about the people in the land trust. And we feel like that is the goal for real community stabilization and development without displacement. How willing are you as someone with the means to make a difference, whether it's a huge donation of time, energy, money, donations and kind resources are you as someone who might possess that